I haven't done a Warframe video in a while. That's because, for a long while, I hated where the game was at. But now that the old creative leads moved on to work on Soulframe, I'd say the game has gotten a lot more interesting, content-wise. The bugs and such as whoo wow stepped up a little bit so seeing as how i didn't feel like editing anything too complex because adobe premiere has been giving me quite a few issues as my twitter followers will attest to i figured hey what if i made a warframe tier list are tier lists still interesting look at me views we will see but i ran into a problem there are countless Warframe rankings and tier lists out there already, and I would just be adding to the list if I made one purely based on stats or effectiveness or whatever. So I had to innovate somehow. So here we are today. I am going to be ranking all of the Warframes currently in the game based on how cool you are for maining them. For fairness sake, I'll be going off if I were to ask you what frame you main, rather than, you know, playtime and like your profile and such. Because while I main Zephyr, my most used Warframe is still base Saren from how much I played her back in update 13. So without further ado, let's get into ranking every Warframe on how cool they make you. As you can see here, I am on the Tier Maker website and I have a list of every Warframe up to Citrine right here for me to me, me to look at. Uh, I'm off the script now, by the way. That's <laughs> pretty much all I wrote for the script, so I'm going to be stuttering a lot more. Why am I making a Warframe tier list when the next major content drop is not all that far away where we're getting another, another new Warframe? Um, because I'm f***ing stupid. <laughs> I don't I just censor. I don't think that was long enough into the video for me to be able to say that, so just go ahead and censor that. Anyway, tier list. So, uh, seeing as how I'm not doing anything too particularly interesting, um, we should probably, like, I don't know, for, like, fill some of the empty space. Um, so, Snowy, um, just, like, in the bottom right, put, like, a, like, like a gif of, like, a, like a, like a cool skeleton or something, just kind of, like, doing, like, cool skeleton things, like, doing a little dance, like a cool skeleton. Uh, that'll be, that, that'll, that'll work. Um, in the bottom left, Put a picture of just you know, just put a picture of Rosie. Screw it. So uh, just just Rosie. Just you know, just put a picture of Rosie down there so people have uh, something to look at respectfully. Um, in the top right, put a still from the hit movie Monster House. Just just go ahead and pick anything from from Monster House and just put it up there. Um, actually, don't make it. Mm, no, yeah, no, just, just, but just a movie still from Monster House. Um, in the top left, do, let's see, um, do a DVD copy of Click starring Adam Sandler. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that, that'll, that, that'll work. That, I feel like that's a lot more interesting. Thank you. So, as you can see, I have a array of tiers to rank the various Warframes and their coolness here, ranging from a Velociraptor with a gun wearing sunglasses all the way down to Andrew Tate. And I will be ranking all these Warframes based on if I see you walking around the, uh, the game playing them, or if I ask you what you main, what uh, goes through my head and what I think you're capable of, as far as uh, being cool goes. So, uh, let's kick this off with Ash. Ninja Boy. Hmm. If I, I I haven't seen many ashes recently, so I can't really think of what I would think now of if I saw someone playing him or who mains him. But I feel like because all of the like toxic people made Loki Prime back in the day, all the cool people made Ash because he was like he was the other quote unquote stealth frame. And uh, yeah, no, I, you know, I would say. Ash makes you pretty cool. If if you main Ash, I would say you're fi you're you're pretty cool. I feel like you can do a kickflip. Atlas. Ooh, that's a good one. A very rare Warframe to see someone maining. Uh, my brother was actually an Atlas main, and uh, he has told tale of uh, bumping into one more Atlas main in the wild, and they're like, "Hey, look, Atlas! Hey, how you doing?" And they like talk for a little bit of how fun it is uh, that to punch things, and how they both liked rocks. Um, so, thinking about my brother, uh, he's a pretty cool guy. I don't think he can do a kickflip, and I'm not too fit I'm not too sure how fond of a sword he is. Well, well, I feel like it's a safe bet to say see-through Game Boy, because, uh, I have a see-through Game Boy, and, uh, my brother is at least as cool, if not more cool than me, so I, I feel like see-through, like, top of see-through Game Boy is good for now. Banshee. Hmm. I feel like there's a duality with Banshee players. One, they just really like Banshee and they just like playing her. Two, they are relics of the past and insist on uh, quake spamming. 
Wow, I haven't thought about that in a while. Yeah. So I would say Banshee, as much as I love Banshee and wish she was better, hmm. No, eh, nah, uh, uh, yeah, I think I think Banshees all, are also going through, uh, go, going to uh, see through Game Boy tier. Baruk, another friend of mine, mains Baruk, and uh, I like him quite a lot. And the upsetting fact about this is, while I like my friend who mains Baruk, shoutouts to Cleb, the other Baruk mains I have seen in the wild are less so, and I like them less. I find that uh, they manage to they manage to die a lot more than they should as Baruch, seeing how he can be literally immortal if he feels like it. <sighs> With the exception of Kleb being a cool person, I think uh, I think Baruch mains they definitely can't do a kick flip. Caliban, uh, I'm pretty sure they don't exist. Uh, no, I have seen I've seen one or two Calibans. I've seen more atlases than I've seen Calibans, but I have seen them. I, but they're so enigmatic, I just don't know anything about them. Hmm. If you like Caliban, then you probably like Modern Warframe lore to a, a certain extent, which brings you down and makes me think you can't do a kickflip. So we're gonna go with that. <laughs> Chroma, another duality here, I think. One, you're an incredibly cool and chill person. Two, you hate literally everyone and are just playing on public for no reason and meant to be playing on solo and you are very toxic. I feel like that's uh, that's the duality with Chroma. Either you're a super cool, super chill person you love to hang with or someone who literally hates everyone that's not them. Depends on how much range they have, I suppose. So uh, let's, mm, I, I feel like, I feel like, hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll go see through Game Boy. That seems fair. Ember. <sighs> she has flip-flopped quite a lot recently in terms of how cool I think you are for playing Ember. Uh, she's definitely not as common as she was, so you're a little bit more... You're either a little bit more unique, or you're used to the good old days of when uh, she used to have World on Fire as her four. So, I think... No, I think... I think I think Ember mains can do a kickflip. flip. I, I, I think they can. All in all, Ember is a cool Warframe, and if you like Ember, then you are probably a cool person. And I feel like if you can't do a kickflip, Ember Ember can probably do a kickflip, and uh, that's good enough for me. Equinox, another friend of mine. Well, Equinox and Oberon, but I've heard him talk most about... I actually don't know whether I've uh, heard No Hope talk about Equinox or Oberon more. Hmm. Either way... No Hope plays uh, Equinox, and he's a cool person. Other than No Hope, I have seen mostly Daquinox people who main Equinox and don't utilize both forms, which is pretty uncool, because that's kind of Equinox's whole thing of switching between two forms and controlling them. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think Equinox can do a kickflip. I feel like they're more likely to be able to do a kickflip than Caliban. Maybe than Baruch. Nah, nah, Baruch could definitely... He has more of a chance of doing a kickflip, so we'll, we'll go there. Excalibur. Hmm, this is an interesting one. Either you are an infant and you just started playing this game two hours ago, you genuinely like Excalibur, or you are so incredibly old you have Excalibur Prime and wish the game never changed. We're gonna go see through Game Boy for, uh, for Excalibur. Maybe a little bit more than Chroma? Good enough. Frost. Oh, this is my precious baby boy. He's my main male Warframe. Uh, Frost mains, I always like seeing. I really do. Mostly because I also play Frost, and I could talk to uh, them about how cool Frost is, no pun intended. Uh, so, I, f I feel like... Hmm. Yeah, no. Frost mains are super cool. First, first, <laughs> first Velociraptor wearing sunglasses. <laughs> this video sucks. Gara. Hmm. The one person I know who mains Gara, I am not fond of. And I can't really think of how many Gara mains I have seen. So I think we're going to be going off of uh, just me seeing someone playing Gara. I don't really have an opinion on him. No, I feel like Gara's a little bit too posh to be able to do a kickflip. So we'll, 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 we'll put her behind Caliban. Garuda. I mean, if you're maining the blood vampire gore harpy warframe, then you're probably pretty cool because uh, you're an edgelord. And I like edgelords. I think they're fun. Um, hmm. Yeah, no, I, I feel like a Garuda man could, could do a kickflip. Better or worse than Ember, though? I feel like worse. But they can definitely they could definitely do a kick flip, but I feel like it's it, they're not gonna hit it as hard, you know? Goss. Hmm. Goss mains, huh? On one hand, I feel like they can do a kick flip, but on the other, I feel like they wouldn't do it in a cool way. I feel like they would do it like a by the books kind of kick flip, where it's like, oh yeah, that's categorically that is a kick flip, but there was no style to it, you know? Hmm. 
I think we'll, we'll he'll probably he'll probably remain on the bottom of can do a kickflip. I feel like they're pretty cool, but uh, they're like on the verge of just having the see through Game Boy and they can do a kickflip, you know? Grendel, Gre Grendel, Grendel can't do a kickflip. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Grendel, but anytime I see someone playing Grendel or mentioning that they love Grendel or they main Grendel, I just get a, uh, I get like a little huh in, in the back of my throat. Where I'm just like, huh, eh, no. Hmm. Maybe it's because of his concept, but I just, nah, I don't think you're, I don't think you're all that cool for, for, for maining Grendel. Jire, hmm. That's an interesting one. Another person I know. I, I, he didn't used to main Jire. He used to main Volt, but he has since basically exclusively started playing Jire. So I'm just gonna say that Aaron's probably moved over to Jire now. Uh, Aaron's a really cool person. He's super nice. Go figure, he's Canadian. Ha ha he he. Um, yeah, no, I, I feel like, I feel like Jire could do a kickflip. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'd say be a little bit, a little bit higher than, than a Guru to main. Haro, easy, easy S tier. It, Haro not only is one of the coolest Warframes in the game, every Haro main is a Giga Chat, and that is a fact. If I see someone who has their most time played as Haro, and they just have this awesome looking Haro decked out with like Tenno Gen and Prime accessories, I'm like, hell yeah, absolutely. Just a little bit behind Frost because he's my precious baby boy and I love him. But Haro is incredibly dope, and so are the people who play him. Hildren, we're back to another duality. On one hand, you probably just appreciate, you know, muscle mommies and everything. On the other, you could potentially be the deviant art kind, where the term hyper comes to mind, and I don't really vibe with that. Hmm. I feel like Grendel mains. Oh, <laughs> Grendel. Hildren mains. They came around at roughly the same time and I get their names mixed up. I feel like Hildren mains, by and large, are fairly chill. At least people who like Hildren are very chill. So I feel like, I feel like a little, I feel like above Banshee for see-through Game Boy tier. Hydroid. Abbas, ye scurvy build rats. You best recognize the true king of the seven seas, the dread Captain Hydroid. Batten down the hatches and swamp me poop deck. There'd be nothing better than raiding some poor corpus vessel for everything they got. Singing shanties alongside me crew as we lay down swaths of cannon fire. Rest assured, I'll be taking what's mine the moment I take a hearty swig of me bottled whoop ass. You know it to be true. There ain't nothing worse than being stuck moored with nay a ting to pillage. Locked to dry land with not an inch of ship resting neath your boots. And believe me when I say, matey, if land loving were a crime, I'd be a law abiding pirate. Easy S tier. Inaros. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. do that. <laughs> Ivara. Hmm. Ivara main is an interesting concept. I know basically everyone who plays this game plays Ivara because of how amazingly useful she is for select few missions, but I can't really think of how many people really main Ivara. Hmm. I feel like at first they would come off as really like really nice really approachable but after a set after a little while you find that they're they might be a little bit a little bit pretentious like just a little bit though or you know they really just only play her for her ass which is always entirely possible not really sure what to think about ivara hmm if i saw an ivara main i'd probably be like oh well that's different but i wouldn't really think necessarily positively of them. Not negative either, but like not positive. Uh, yeah, I, mm, I feel like I feel like they can't really do a kickflip. A Korra main. I would say we have another duality on our hands. On one hand, you exist for Pilfering Strangledom. On the other, I don't really, I don't feel like I really need to say it. Dami and Mommy comes to mind. Um, in which case, hmm, depending on who you are, I might be like, fair enough, or hell yeah. So I think I feel like I feel I feel like our Koras are our our first A tier. Labos. Hmm. I'm really showing my taste in uh, male warframes over <laughs> literally anything else because uh, Labos is another S tier. Hmm. Above or below Hydro? Above Hydroid. Above Hydroid. Because there's another friend I uh there's another friend of mine who uh, really likes Labos and he's super chill. Yeah. Easy S tier. Easy S tier. If you made Labos, you're a chat. Limbo. <sighs> the easiest fucking thing in my life. Jesus Christ. Wow. Not only is Limbo, like, barely helpful and is more often a nuisance, the people who main him are just a different breed. Hmm. I feel like it's not, they're not that bad, though. They could definitely, like, they're, they're definitely very positive. Yeah, and I think that's a bit too harsh. We'll, we'll, we'll put them, like, mid can't do kickflip tier. 
I, w I was a bit too harsh off the gate. Loki main. Oh, hmm. the days of update 13. So many Loki mains and all of them were awful. Nowadays though, I don't really have an opinion on Loki mains nowadays. So seeing as how this is my list and it's based entirely on what I think of you for maining that Warframe, see you later Loki mains. I still haven't forgotten. Mag. Hmm. I feel like Mag is one of the more useful and underappreciated female Warframes out there. And I feel like people who main Mag, despite, you know, them very likely also being babies like Excalibur because starter frame, Mag specifically, I feel like a Mag main, you, you could probably get lost in a conversation with them for a little bit. You're just chatting about stuff. So I feel like, like top of see-through Game Boy tier. Mesa. Ha, this one's easy as hell. Jesus Christ. Wow, if you main Mesa, you are part of the hype mind and you are part of the problem. Mirage. I really like Mirage. I avoided her for a really long time because of the super toxic meta back in the day of Mirage with Cyanoid Simulore. Shout out to if you remember that, by the way, because that was a long time ago. Nowadays, though, I really, really like Mirage and I like bumping into other people playing Mirage and I like bumping into Mirage mains. I feel like they could do a kickflip. Maybe a little bit better than Goss. Not sure though, but they can definitely do a kickflip. Necros, Turbo Edgelord, huzzah, I like it. On one hand, could be Turbo Edgelord and you just love the Necromancer frame, which we love to see. On the other, you could have been forced to play Necros for farming purposes, in which case my heart goes out for you, and either way, you're going into top of see-through Game Boy tier. Neja main, huh. I used to hate Neja, like my least favorite Warframe for a long time. I've since warmed up to him, especially after they've re they've not reworked, but they've tweaked him a lot since his initial release, which is why I disliked him. And nowadays, whenever I see someone playing Neja, I wouldn't say it's a necessarily positive reaction, but it's not negative anymore. I don't go, ugh, Neja main. Mm, yeah, I, I, I would say like just behind Baruch and can't do a kickflip. Nidus. Nidus mains, I have uh, noticed, um, are one of the like, I would say the second most likely to mess up a mission object objective that isn't just kill stuff. The second most likely. And I don't like running into people who are playing Nidus. Anytime I see it, I, I join a public session, I see a Nidus, I'm like, uh. All in all, I would say it's not that bad. Maybe he is a cool Warframe. And I feel like people who like him, like, they probably like Bloodborne as well. Because, you know, body horror and everything. Hmm, I would say Ninus is bottom of see-through Game Boy. However, if you use Parasitic Link on me, you are bottom of Andrew Tate. Do not mess up my fashion with your infested goop. I don't care. But that's situational, so bottom of see-through Game Boy. Nova, if you main Nova, I like you. That's that's just the bottom line. I think you're real cool. Dog with sword. Nyx, same situation. Basically the exact same situation. These are two the Warframe of all time style of Warframes, but I like both of these quite a lot. And if I see someone who mains either Nova or Nyx, I'm like, hell yeah, awesome. I do like Nyx just a little bit more though. So we're gonna put her in front of Nova. Oberon, <laughs> once again, uh, <laughs> showing my taste in male Warframes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh my God. It, like just the, just looking back real quick at this list, there's a bunch of Warframes in here I really like playing, like Korra, well, not necessarily like playing in terms of Korra because she's kind of boring, but a bunch of Warframes I like, like Korra, Nyx, Nova, Garuda, Mirage, all that Banshees in here. All of them are just kind of fairly strewn about despite the fact that I really like the Warframes. And then S tier is just a bunch of male Warframes that I really like. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but I, I guess if I just run into someone who mains one of the male Warframes I really like, I'm just like, hell yeah, fuck yeah, dude, look at you having good taste, because they're not like an Inaros. Octavia. Ha, huh, another duality on her hands. On one hand, you either just really like music and actually spend time, you know, in your mandacord, making a song and playing around with it and making something that sounds good because you enjoy it. On the other, you just like her because she's but buck overpowered and can do literally anything all by herself. So I would say bottom of see-through Game Boy just because of that harsh duality with Octavia mains. Protea, another interesting one. M most of the newer, quote unquote, newer Warframes, I don't really have an opinion on if you main them, hmm. but I do like Protea. And if I see someone who mains Protea, I'll probably be like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I would say that's, a, that's another middle of see-through Game Boy tier. Revenant. 
Sorry, Revenant. <laughs> I'm real sorry. A lot of people don't appreciate how good Revenant is, but the people who do appreciate Re how good Revenant is exploit him to such an extent they are impossible to play with in a public queue. Especially if you're playing a Warframe who can't like keep up in terms of CC or, d or just raw damage or anything. They are impossible to play against because they're just gonna they're gonna wipe the map within like 40 meters of wherever they are. It's ridiculous. Cool Warframe underappreciated by most people. Uh, no, not quite, Andrew. We'll say bottom of can't do kick, can't do kick flip. Rhino. Wow, that is the most nothing feeling I had I have gotten throughout the entirety of this. All right, uh, we'll say like we'll, we'll, we'll go like lower third of C through Game Boy for Rhino. Saren. Bottom of Andrew Tate tier. If you <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. The only level below Mesa Main is Saren Main. Oh, there's one level lower, but the level immediately after Mesa Main is Saren Main. Like, because not only have you been bullshit for so long and just almost completely unmatched for so long, basically nothing has been done about it, and you are reveling in that fact that you are one of the most overpowered Warframes in the game. And all the, like, Saren Mains I have run into have just been some of the worst. I say some of because there's still one more that is worse than Saren and Mesa mains. Moving on to Sebagoth. I'm pretty sure Sebagoth mains don't exist. I'm pretty sure he is just a Warframe in the game that people play occasionally. I also feel like Sebagoth gets some negative points for being like the edgy version of Hydroid, as well as being a Warframe designed by like my least favorite character artist on like DE's team. Like on a whole, there is just not a lot of positivity associated with neg uh, with with Sevagoth for me, especially seeing how I hate playing him. Sevagoth is one of the Warframes that I literally just gave up on leveling because I hated playing him so much. So uh, I would say Sevagoth main would be interesting to see. However, if you like Sevagoth that much, I probably won't like you. So we'll say middle of can't do a kickflip. Titania. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, how the mighty have fallen, Titania. Titania used to be a niche Warframe you would see every every so often, being used by people who realize her potential, especially after she got her rework to make her, like, even better than she already was, which she was perfectly fine before, but she could definitely use a rework, and then she got that, and now she's just super good. And anytime I ran into a Titania in that time frame, I was like, hey, look, look at them, pretty cool. But nowadays, if I see a Titania, I assume they have Thermal Sunder and are going to uh, speed their own in the mission and they are just going to be the worst. And if you are doing a Fissure mission and someone is speed running with Thermal Sunder Titania and at least one of you doesn't get your full reactant because they get their reactant, go to the end and the enemy stops spawning. If you yell at them and you say, hey jackass, thanks for speed running the mission, make it so Dave can't get his reactant, uh, they're going to get uppity at you for not being fast enough. So we'll say above Mesa, but that's not a, that's not a high bar to clear. Trinity. Fair enough. If you main, if you like, if you main Trinity, fair enough. I wish I could main Trinity, but she's not involved enough for me to really like Trinity. But conceptually, because she's a support warframe, I really like Trinity. And when I see someone who mains Trinity, I really like that person. However, this is a very important factor. If you build your Trinity for negative duration, either in an attempt to kill things really qu really quickly with EV, or to just get your energy immediately from EV, you are bottom of Andrew Tate tier. This is for negative duration Trinity. If you build your Trinity for negative duration, you are the worst kind of person because you are just objectively building her incorrectly and ruining all of her abilities except for one for something you can do just by killing your EV otherwise. Negative, tur negative duration Trinity serves no purpose. That, that, that build is not a thing that should exist. However, this is assuming people know that now and they just kind of like playing Trinity. In which case, dog with sword tier. Valkyr. <sighs> there is a... There's some interesting emotions tied to Valkyr specifically for me. On one hand, I used to really, 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 really like Valkyr, and I used to really like bumping into other people who really like Valkyr. However, uh, there is a person I used to associate with who mains Valkyr, 
who I now hate the guts of. So, look. Mm, ah, eh, I want to be more fair, because that's just a personal thing. But this is my list, so I could just go full tits. But I'm not going to go full tits. I'm going to try and be a little bit fair and say, I still have that initial reaction of, hey, a Valkyrie main. But that it's like twinged with the, the the negativity and the and the and the ire. Is that the correct word? Anger. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's still t it's still tinged with the ire I have associated with that other person. So instead of putting it at down here, like I was planning on, I would say above Grendel and can't do a kickflip. That's a little bit more fair. Vobon. Wow, uh, another nothing feeling. Um, so I guess you'll go right behind Rhino. <laughs> a lot of see-through Game Boys I'm seeing. Volt. Uh, yeah, I feel like you can't do a kickflip, but you're definitely like close to being able to do a kickflip. Wisp. Hmm. Wisp main. Hmm. I would say, depending on how much range you have on your Wisp build, I would say you range from top of can do kickflip to bottom of can do kickflip. So I would say like just above Banshee in see through Game Boy. Haha, -ha, there we go. Nice. The man of the hour, Wukong. Oh wow. Wukong mains. I man, I love him so much. Bottom of Andrew Tate tier. The lowest common denominator and every single Wukong main I have bumped into has been the worst person I have ever had the displeasure of interacting with. And just a fun little fact I have <laughs> about this really dumb thing I've started doing. And that is anytime I bump into someone who is playing Wukong or Wukong Prime, doesn't matter. Anytime I run into a Wukong and their Wukong is black and red, usually with like gold trim, so black, red, and gold, I screenshot them and I put them in a folder in my pictures called cringe compilation because it happens so often there are so many black and red and gold wukongs out there that i have started filling up a folder specifically of these black red and gold wukongs called the cringe compilation because oh my god you are all an original uh that being said just to reiterate wukong mains are the lowest common de denominator and likely just read a guide saying which is the best Warframe? And then they started playing them. So, uh, Wukong's hanging out at the very, very bottom, right next to Saren and Mesa mains. Uh, if you main Wukong, I think negatively of you. Zaku. Yeah, that's another one that's not very positive. Uh, I hate playing with Zaku's. But on the other hand, I do like... Mm, I would say this is another duality. If you just... If you're just playing Zaku, then you're probably a perfectly fine person, and I don't really have an opinion on you. If you are playing Zaku with the new dog shit deluxe skin that looks like total ass cheeks, then you're probably a bad person with bad taste. So if we take out the medium, the the the, the median there, and you, and you cut it down the middle, middle of can't do a kickflip. You really? Hey, uh, wow, another duality here. I would say my opinion of you as a Yureli main wages entirely on how you answer me asking you why you like you really so much if you answer something along the lines of oh i just think she's cool i like her design i like water stuff stuff along those lines fair enough i like you i think you're pretty cool because i like you too i think she's a lot of fun however if you mention that you like your with anything referencing your enjoyment of anime and especially genshin impact that is a red flag and you are and you are almost bottom of Andrew, Andrew Tate because Wukong exists. However, taking the more positive of the two because I like Yureli, I would say hmm, I mean, this is also accurate to Yureli. Uh, she can absolutely do a kickflip. Absolutely can do a kickflip. Like, I'm pretty sure she does kickflips in the game. Zephyr! Oh, my precious bird. Uh, another duality here, though. If I run into a Zephyr, I, I do fairly commonly now, which I like to see. If I run into a Zephyr, and they're just playing Zephyr or Zephyr Prime and enjoying their time as, as playing as, as Board Lady. Top of S tier. Absolutely. Top of S tier. And we're going to leave her there for the time being, and we'll come back to that. So we'll, we'll, if if you main Zephyr, with, with the caveat we'll get to, if you main Zephyr, you are top of S tier. I think you are the coolest person. Styanax. Styanax is a super fucking cool Warframe. 
and I really like playing Styanax, and I'm upset because my Styanax disappeared from my inventory at some point, and I don't know what happened. I might have sold him at some point, but I feel like I wouldn't have, because usually if I get rid of a base Warframe, I subsume them into Helminth for the free ability, because I was going to get rid of them otherwise, but I don't have Sevagoth's subsumed ability in my helmet. So either I just sold Styanax for some reason and didn't subsume him for no reason, or he just disappeared out of my inventory. Either way, uh, Styanax is a super fucking cool Warframe and a hell of a lot of fun to play. And if someone main Styanax, hell yeah. I would say right behind your Ellie. Varuna, hell yeah. Right in front of Frost. Right in front of Frost. You main Varuna, hell yeah. Citrine, the newest Warframe. If you main Citrine, I'm gonna need to come back to you in a couple months just to see if you're still playing Citrine because I feel like she's too new for someone to main main her right now. But I feel like there's definitely a couple people who are like, yeah, fuck yeah, absolutely, I love this Warframe and have already like converted over to playing nothing but Citrine. Probably have been playing nothing but Citrine since she came out. Hmm, I, they're different. I would say if you play, if you main Citrine, you're different. Not in a derogatory way, just you are you are a different individual. You're your own person. You like Citrine, and uh, I think that's pretty interesting. So we'll say... We'll say... Above... Hildren. Yeah, above Hildren. Now, to very quickly go back to my precious bird wife, Zephyr, I had a caveat. If you just play Zephyr and are enjoying your time as being a bird, you are top of S tier. You are the coolest person. However, um, I don't have a, a way to edit the list here because uh, I'm, I just kind of uh, changed the tiers on someone who's already made a template because I didn't want to bother. But um, that's what editing's for. If you main Zephyr and you use the Harrier skin, you are worse than Wukong mains in my eyes. Right down there. Snowy put, put it up right down there in uh, Andrew Tate. Right there. Here we have the final tier list. This is my bona fide official definitive ranking of what each Warframe makes me think of you in terms of how cool you are. In the Andrew Tate tier, at the very, very bottom, we have Harrier Zephyr mains, followed by Wukong mains, Saren mains, Mesa mains, Titania mains, Loki mains, and Inaros mains. Congratulations, Inaros, you almost made it. In the can't do a kickflip tier, we have Revenant mains, Grendel mains, Valkyr mains, Gara mains, Caliban mains, Limbo mains, Sevagoth mains, Zaku mains, Equinox mains, Neja mains, Baruch mains, Ivara mains, and Volt mains. Holy crap, there's a lot of Warframes. In the see-through Game Boy tier, <laughs> This video is incredibly stupid, but hey, here we are. We have Octavia mains, Nidus mains, Chroma mains, Excalibur mains, Vauban mains, Rhino mains, Banshee mains, Wisp mains, Protea mains, Hildren mains, Citrine mains, Atlas mains, Mag mains, and Necros mains. In the can do a kickflip tier, we have Goss mains, Mirage mains, Garuda mains, Gyre mains, Ember mains, Ash mains, Styanax mains, and Ureli mains. In the Dog with Sword tier, we have Tit <laughs> not Titania. We have Trinity mains, Nova mains, Nyx mains, and Korra mains. And in the coolest tier, where if I see you maining this Warframe, I think you are the coolest person in Warframe, Velociraptor with a gun wearing sunglasses, we have Hydroid mains, Oberon mains, Lavos mains, Haro mains, Frost mains, Varuna mains, and normal Zephyr mains that don't want to be a scuffed jet that looks like a man. This is my definitive official list, and uh, everything I say is gospel, so if you have a problem with it, uh, make sure to tell me in a very, very long-winded comment, as well as sharing this video with friends so they too can yell at me in the comments. Uh, either way, um, thanks for hanging around in this really dumb video. Uh, sorry that there wasn't a new episode of Hat in Time today, but uh, like I said, I didn't really want to do anything too complex. Uh, so I just figured, hey, funny stupid video, that'll be fun. 
If you genuinely enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a pop and to hit the bell so it actually does something. If you want to support me in the channel, consider becoming a patron for just $5 a month and you'll get a bunch of cool perks. My name's JR and I will see you guys in the next one.